Look, I don't just let any son of a bitch into my town. I'm taking a risk making an exception for you. So you're welcome in my town. At least until you start screwing up. Once that bullshit starts, you're out on your own again. About time. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. But yeah, the cave's fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Well, it would lighten the load for our scab team a lot. Since you're pretty much one of us, here's the deal. For every piece of strange meat or buff out you bring in, you'll be repaid with one cube of fungus. You couldn't ask for a better deal. Talk with Eclair for the strange meat, or to Lucy about the buff out. They've got uses for them. What do I look like, your tour guide? It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. What's up? What's happening? Nuh-uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Sure, if you want. Come on, it's over here. Hey. Um. Certainly. What's on your mind? Well, when lamplighters get older, we move out to Big Town. It's a happy place, where we aren't making the mistakes that the grown-ups have made. Okay, there you go. The computer is on again. Don't know what good it'll do you. Waiter. Sure thing, Penny. What's happening? All right, bye. What's happening? We don't go there. Stay sharp. Nice.
nicer to be in here than out there. Watch it. It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. Sure thing, pal. Special deals for us kids. Come again. I should have more stuff soon. Come on back when you got more stuff to trade. Um, I guess this thing is working. I'm Jason Grant. I'm 10 years old. I'm in Miss Delaney's class at Early Dawn Elementary. A month ago, a big war came and everything was destroyed. Except us. We're still okay in these caves. Kind of. Mrs. Delaney went out this morning to get help. And she never came back. The other adults never came back either. So now it's just us kids. A lot of the others still cry every day. They're really scared. I'm not. There's nothing to be scared of, as long as we don't go outside. Nobody else wants to be in charge, so I'm gonna try. Most of the kids listen to me already, so it should be easy. It's been almost two months, and we're all doing pretty good. Even if we are all alone. There's a door that leads to a vault, right here in the caverns. Every day, we bang and bang, but they won't let us in. We can hear them in there. One time, a guy on the other side told us we were dead already. Fuck those grown-ups. Fuck them all. We don't need them ever again. Hey. Gosh, you're big.
Got yourself another few scrapes? Excellent. I should be able to synthesize the proteins from this into something that'll fight rickets. Here's your fungus in return. Excellent. I should be able to synthesize the proteins from this into something that'll fight rickets. Here's your fungus in return. Don't get too hurt out there. It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. No, because Princess always bosses me around, and there's never nothing to gun. That's all I'm gonna say while she's around. Where to, Mungo? Okay. So, a long time ago, Princess convinced everyone that she should be mayor. The first thing she did as mayor was try to insist the title be changed to Princess. It was five minutes before McCready punched her in the nose and got picked as the new mayor. It was awesome! No way! I think she's got a crush on him. She's all weird for him. Yeah. McCready said we needed someone to watch out for us, not to lord over us. Then he popped her one. She hasn't even tried since then. That's why he stays mayor, too. I hope I can be that cool someday. Thanks. Maybe you can take her down a peg, huh? So, a lot. It was fu. Okay. I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Why? Because I'm Princess a Little Lamplight? Shut up! As soon as they figure out who told you, someone's getting pounded into the ground. That was a long time ago anyway. That's right, run away, coward. Well, look who's here. What's up, Mungo? I don't need to ex What? <laughs> Could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. Well, thank goodness you gave- Thanks for getting us back here. We would've got out before long, but you did really help. So, uh, thanks. No, we'll see how I feel about it tomorrow, huh? Okay. Well, if it isn't the mag-